Today we learned former St. Louis Alderman John Collins Muhammad will plead guilty in the corruption case that resulted in indictments for him and two other aldermen. New tonight, Robert Townsend gets reaction from people who live in what was once Colin Muhammad's 21st ward. His lawyer says former St. Louis Alderman John Collins Muhammad entered a plea agreement with the U.S. Attorney's Office on Friday. People in the 21st Ward in North City have plenty to say after hearing their former alderman pleaded guilty to federal corruption charges. He went through the neighborhood and introduced himself to everyone and promised that he was an honest person. Collins Muhammad previously pleaded not guilty to the charges that allege he and former alderman Jeffrey Boyd and Lewis Reed accepted cash bribes in exchange for tax breaks. Boyd and Reed have pleaded not guilty. Deborah Ostell voted for the 31-year-old Collins Muhammad. Well, I have read about him, and then I say he was the youngest one, and maybe he'll do something. And then I start seeing the neighborhood pick up a little. Ostell says last summer, Collins Muhammad gave her this plaque in memory of her late mom. Her mother was a longtime successful restaurant owner in the 21st Ward. Ostell still can't believe her former alderman, pictured here, could soon head to prison. I was really shocked that he was even tied into it because it didn't seem like he was that type of person. Next month, four candidates will run in a special election, all vying to replace the embattled Collins Muhammad. And with the election fast approaching, you bet people here in the 21st Ward already have high hopes for their next alder person, as well as issues they'd like to see tackled. I'm really looking forward to them cleaning up cleaning up this neighborhood. I'm talking violence. I'm talking about trash. I'm talking about all that. The next older person should be about the business every day. Collins Muhammad is expected to be sentenced in August. Robert Townsend, five on your side. And you can read more about this story in the As Seen on TV section of KSDK.com.